How's it going you guys? Tyler Wandering Therapist here. I'm out today on a beautiful day. Springtime, finally good temperatures. You can see the river behind me. It's just amazing today. Blue skies with just a few clouds. <clears throat> you might hear my dog in the background splashing in the water. She's trying to chase ducks right now thinking she's going to be successful, but she's not. But I just wanted to answer a quick question for you today. This question comes from Adam. Adam, thanks for submitting your question. And the question is, where do I start when I'm in a funk or a rut? How do I get out of a funk or a rut? And uh, this is a timely question because I've actually been in one of those myself. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about maybe some personal experiences to how I've been trying to climb out of it myself and give you a few principles to think about that might be helpful. So something that I think first and foremost we need to remember and consider is that we live lives where no matter what we do, we're going to have peaks and valleys. And I think sometimes we kind of get blindsided by the fact that we end up in a rut or a funk and we wonder why it happened, like what's, what are we doing wrong? And sometimes you may have not, not done anything wrong per se, it's just that the circumstances of life have maybe changed a little bit or you have waves of different emotions. And so pausing to be kind to yourself and be curious with yourself as to what might be causing it is the first place to start. And if you can't find anything, that's okay, but now you can start moving into some other skills and things. So probably about two weeks ago, I started to feel sort of my depression kick in pretty strongly. And I kind of have this like weird seasonal depression, it comes and goes, but when I get it, it, it sort of wants to shut me down to the point where I don't want to do anything. All of my normal dailies kind of go out the window. I kind of get lazy and lethargic and I stop doing my normal sorts of like rhythms that actually keep me going. And then the depression wants to get worse when that happens, then I end up in a funk or a rut. Unfortunately, I let that slide over the last couple of days and I did get into a funk or a rut to where I could feel that burning behind my eyes again, that real thick fog of depression in my head, and I didn't want to do anything, no motivation to do anything. My wife kind of saw it and she pointed it out and she said, Tyler, like, something's off with you. And I said, I know, I can't, I can't figure it out, I can't get it to stop. And she said, well, how are you doing on all your basics? When's the last time you ran your dog? When's the last time you did your spiritual reading? When's the last time you did your meditation? I said, oh, it's been a few days on all of that stuff. She said, well, maybe that's where you start. Yesterday, I woke up and I decided not to overwhelm myself, but I decided to do one thing at a time. And this is maybe the suggestion I give to you, Adam, is to find one thing at a time, find the smallest possible action that will push you in the right direction, and then do the next right thing, just like you hear in the songs in Frozen, right? And so what I decided to do is to wake up and I decided to start with just getting my personal hygiene done and getting a hot shower. And then I decided to listen to one talk from a leader of our church just to do something spiritual. And then after that, I decided that I hadn't run my dog in a few days and she needed to get out. So I decided to take her for a run. And while I was running her, the wind that was blowing was starting to fill up my lungs and I started to feel a little bit more alive. And I still didn't have a ton of motivation, but I started to feel better. And I realized that I was starting to turn the tables. And so when I got home, I went back into my house and I sat down with my wife and read a chapter of a book we're reading together. And the topic was perfect. It's a book called When Things Fall Apart by Pima Chodron. And the, the chapter that we read was just perfect for how I was feeling and it got me thinking and we had a good discussion with my wife. And so I got connection with my wife. I had a great conversation with my brother yesterday. And now you see that one thing at a time starts to turn the tides again and pull things out. So that's the hardest thing is there's some activation energy that has to happen where you've got to get yourself to just do the first thing. But if you can get that movement, then the next piece of movement becomes easier and the next piece of movement becomes easier. The smallest baby step, smallest action in the right direction is the place to start. And then you start to build in things on top of that until you get your motivation back and you get moving again. So one thing at a time, the next right thing. Hopefully that's helpful for you, Adam. Have a great day. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you found this to be valuable for you, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you're facing particular struggles that you need help with or roadblocks that you're running into, please submit a question. I'd be happy to answer it for you.